Like, I was excited. Like, I really wanted to go yeah, live stream. Yeah, we got stream. to Seattle, and we're out there on the beach. I thought, like, all right, we're fucking here. All we have to do is wait till the sun comes up, and we're going to have a whole day where we're just doing our fucking thing, you know? And, like, this guy is fucking making a fool out of us, like, up and down the streets. Shit, I wanted, I, like, even I wanted to go fucking Facebook Live and shit, but then that, that shit happened, dude. I was just like, okay, whatever, dude, I'm done. Right? I think I really killed the fucking uh, adventure. Honestly, I think if we would have stayed there long enough, we would have actually been able to see when um, when the Black Panther showed up. I didn't even think they still existed. I thought they died in the 80s. No, they're, they're making a comeback. There's 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 a lot of footage of them being uh, supposedly in, in Seattle and Minneapolis and I think one more place. They said that they showed up in... Um, in Port, uh, Seattle, because like some of the streets got blocked off. Like there was there was footage of of uh, Black Panthers going up to uh, people like white people in in their cars and asking for reparations. Yeah. Do what? Asking for reparations. Wait, who did? Black Panthers going up to like white people and shit in, in their cars. Damn. Yes. Yeah. Are they like demanding the reparations? I mean, it's just like. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see the whole video. I just saw. I just saw the rumors. But I, I saw. I saw parts of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. But I saw the videos of um, Black Panthers marching on like our streets and shit. Maybe maybe even a highway. But they went up to fuck. I mean, these guys were all armed and shit. You know. But they weren't pointing guns at people or anything like that. They weren't threatening. Mm -hmm. But they were just like you know going up to windows and and and, uh, and people were saying that what they were doing is uh, they were asking for reparations to, to fucking white people, white folk. You know? There's one thing when they came up to me with a squeegee bottle and a, and a bottle of soap asking to wipe my windshield, but now they're coming up to me with an AK-47. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Gordon and Mr. Gold of the Drinky Crow Show. Cheers. How was... It was it was fun. It was a hell of a ride. Thirteen hour drive. Something we'll definitely remember. Yeah. Oh my god. Where 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 should we start? Should we start our story from the beginning? So I was invited to go to Seattle by this gentleman, and initially I thought this trip was going to be completely funded and provided by from him. But what happened was he met. Steven met this guy named, what was his name? Roger. Roger, apparently. Might be his name. And <laughs> Might be his name. Um, Probably is his name, but no. Uh. Anyways, this guy turned out to be a bum, but before this, like, we did not know how bad, of, how bad this could have been, you know? And this guy, I guess, planned with Steven this trip and it, when it came down to actually paying for anything he only paid for one meal for himself and then started fasting because he couldn't afford anything else which was you know not according to plan wasn't the plan the plan was to afford you know not to bullshit and this guy was full of it we get we went down the street to this guy's place thinking he owned it <laughs> and we rolled into this neighborhood thinking man this place is high class like, he's in San Ramon, and he told me, he told me that he was looking to, to move, like he wanted to move, and maybe move to San Jose, and when we got into this neighborhood, I was thinking, like, Jesus yeah, Christ, like, this, this is a high-end spot. Million dollar houses left and right, you know, like, like, really, really nice houses that you'd see, like, in Stanford or, like, in the Beverly Hills, you know. And this guy came out, and I thought this guy just got a bed or some shit. You know, he was wearing sweatpants, <laughs> you know, and you know, he's grease stained shirt. You know, like he's sweaty, sweaty as shit. You know, he's getting, didn't look you know, showered like he was ready. To literally, he comes out of the house. You know, they say they start chatting like they know each other. I'm just like, all right, I just want to microwave my food. So he, go, he, get, he invites me to his house, and he gives me his whole fake name just in case someone starts talking to me inside the house. That's yeah, he's got to have a story. I remember he was telling you at the door, he's like, okay, yeah, if, you're if my dad asks who you are, you'll just tell him, like, yeah, I, I'm a friend from high school and blah, blah, blah. Why did my name have to be Smith? Like, the first name stayed the same. Why did you change my last name? I'm not going to tell you my last name. Alex Smith. 
and the, that's besides Isn't that the point. Weird? That's besides the point. Like you know, fucking, he goes inside, you know, to get ready, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, you know, maybe he, he just needs a, a minute, you know, to get all cleaned up. You know, he takes his minute, but he doesn't get cleaned up. He just grabs a bunch of shit, you know, and then, then, then we go. What, what, what's the next thing that happened? Should, should we talk about the gas station or the KFC? What happened at the gas station? Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, before we left, this Roger guy said to Steve, do you want me to give you money now or when you need it? You know, like, you know, he's, he's making himself... Yeah, that's he, right, that right he, off the bat, like, he's just hand me the money. Cause you know, he's making himself sound reliable, you know, but at ease, you know what I mean? Like, you can either rely on me now or later, type of attitude. <laughs> and, you know, we, I don't know if he chose it or you guys chose it, but he's like, all right, just give me the money later. So later happens, we're going, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, the, we're on the highway, like, Second halfway. time I'm gassing up. Second, second time he's gassing up, we're, like, halfway down to the border of California, and fucking, um, you know, we're at, like, a truck stop town, and fucking, this guy's, like, let's get KFC, I'll get, I'll pay, I'll pay for it. Yeah, we, we said <laughs> He says it just like that, and, you know, there's only three restaurants in this town. There's some options. You know, there's, only, there's only three options, you know, and, like, we go to KFC, and we go to the drive thru and then he only buys himself food, you know? And then he gets eight bucks change, and then, uh, what is it? Literally, he, he makes a big deal about us getting food afterwards. You remember that? You remember? Like, yeah, nobody to- wanted KFC. He was the one who wanted KFC, and he actually, what he said was like, let's get KFC, I'll pay. Yeah. I was like, okay, we're pulling the KFC. And then he's like, no, I don't, I, I, I'm I'll pay for. I, I'm, I'm buying from you know. I'll buy for me. And then he says he buys for himself. And and I was like, okay, does anybody want anybody else want KFC? Nobody else wants KFC. I'm like, okay, so like, and I even said that too. Like for me, I'm not a fan of KFC. If if I'm gonna eat KFC, someone else is gonna pay for it. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just saying I know I would rather. I don't, I don't pay like for it. KFC because like it's just expensive. You know, well, not expensive. It's just it's the same shit. You know, like the only reason I get KFC is if I get a bucket of chicken. That's like the only reason I go to KFC. Yeah. It's a signature item. It's a bucket of fucking chicken. You know, nothing else there is worth it. I can go to any restaurant and get any chicken sandwich and just be the same amount of happy. You know, but this guy, fucking, after we get our food, fucking, we go to the gas station, the nearby gas station, and Steve, you know, he gets out of the car. He goes around to the other side and he's like, all right, give me the money. You know, just like that. And then he Time just, for the money. You know, and then he's like, all right, here you go. Hands him $8. He said, hey, five. Five. Uh, five. No. He handed me, first, he, first he handed me five. And I'm like, okay. Because he even asked me, how much money do you need to come pick me up? And I just looked on the map and was like, well, you're kind of on the way. So five bucks is fine. I didn't need very much. So he hands me the five bucks. And I was like, okay, so here's the five bucks you told me you would give me for picking you up. Okay, now where's the gas money for the trip? And he hands me two more dollars, uh, and I'm like, "Are you? I'm are you serious, dude?" And he hands me another dollar. And I'm like, and that's it. Fucking stripper! I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I'm like, like we're eight trying bucks. To get, we're trying to get across the country. <laughs> we're with, not gonna get damn near the border to Canada. I'm getting eight. next to the next fucking town, <laughs> fucking ten miles up the road. Then that's it, you know? Like this guy gave us eight. Fucking dollars, like, and then he turns to me, you know, like, like I'm the fucking solution, you know, like I, I discussed this, like way before, you know, like when it comes to money and you know needing it, you know, it's very good to communicate about it, you know, yeah. and I did that. I, I made it aware that I was not of very much funds, and I made that clear. But you he all knew that in the very beginning. He I... lied. <laughs> he. Fucking said, oh, I'll pay for the gas. You gotta you know, like make this gonna... very clear. Yeah, he said that, <laughs> that this was his plan. Okay, he planned this. He called me up, Crowman. Let's go to Seattle. Let's go to Chop. This was all his idea. Fuck you, day. This guy. Or what? What is the next funniest shit happened? Oh, the funniest shit happened. Uh, the last guest fill up was like, Joe. You should tell us. Can you retell us the story about the gas station? No. In the, in the yarmulke? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. 
So by the time the gas runs out and we get to the next gas station, like I wasn't really sure what he meant when he handed me the eight dollars. Like that was all the money he had. But I was at that point, I was on like red alert. This is this is all bad. So we get there now. That the tank is empty again now, and I've pretty much put I've put all the gas into it except for the last gas gas station. You know, I was I was gonna take the cash up to the clerk, and I was just like. I just put it in my pocket and just kept charging it onto my card. So we get to the next one, and I'm like, right, we're, we're nearly to Oregon now. And I'm like, all right, Roger, fill up the tank. No, actually, we just got into Oregon. That's right. So we got up in there because I remember a guy come, came up to the to the, to the the pump to um, ask, you know, to fill it up for us. That's what, that's the way they do it in Oregon. Um, so I said, all right, look at this guy right up here. Ask it, Roger, fill up the tank. And then Roger literally says to Joe, Joe, fill up the tank. There's, there's no way. How do you think, how are we going to get back? Like, you told me you were going to pay for half this trip. My friend Joe walks away just to get a, get away from that while me and him kind of argue. And then and I just like, whatever, I, I give the guy the car, tell him to fill it up. I go inside the station and, and then they're left outside talking, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, like, so from his perspective, Joe's perspective... Um, I guess Roger, he goes up to Joe and um, he's like, you, you you, don't think I'm trying to Jew you, right? Or some shit, you know, he's saying, like, I'm not a Jew. I, I, I don't remember the exact word he says, but he's like, uh, you don't see a big nose on my head right he now. Like, yeah, he starts getting way, way too detailed into this. Yeah, he like, starts making it all about this Jew thing. Yeah, like, if you saw if you saw me wearing a yarmulke, would you punch me in the face? And Joe was just like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? In the parking lot at the kitchen, like near the door. <laughs> but not next to the door. That was so funny. But still, oh. Which was weird, but threw the doll off us because when we're in the car, when we were going, he asked me permission if he can swear. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Don't, what? Roll, roll he the asked you permission to swear, and then, like, <laughs> like, literally, he used it, like, against us. Like, literally, he would just say, fuck you. Just like that. Yeah, he would just randomly say, fuck you. It was just weird. It was, it was so weird, but the, the, the weirdest part was that what he was asking permission for was... Things you don't need permission for. Like, things you don't need permission for. You stand right next to the car with the door open and you'd be like, can I pick that up inside the car with my phone? You know? Can I get my glasses? Oh my god, we're terrible. This is, this is not... <laughs> we're like making... Hey! <laughs> how long are we going to go just talking about how, how wacky this guy was? Oh my god, it was like literally the whole entire trip was us just cracking jokes on this idiot because like... Like how upset we were and just let down by this guy, you know. Like so, the only thing that could keep us entertained was just talking shit about him. And like by the time the trip ended, like you think you think we would have more shit to say after he left, but by the time he left, we said so much shit that when he left, there was nothing left to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> All we had left to talk about was what, what, what we were gonna eat because we're fucking hungry. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my god, like, literally on the ride back, I, we're, we're to the fucking border of, like, Oregon or some shit in California, and you can see, what was that hill? The hill with all the snow on it? Mount Dew! No, no Mount, <laughs> Mount Shasta. That was Mount Shasta? Yeah. We, yeah, we're, I see Mount Shasta, like, way at the, in the horizon, and, it, like, and I say, hey, you see that? That's Mount Dew, like, Mountain Dew, you know, the soda? And, <laughs> you know, I, I say that as, like, a little joke, and I forget about it. And fucking, we drive for like a good 200 or 300 miles, and now we're fucking near Mount Shasta. It's like, it's, the, it's just towering over everything. It's like, it's right there, you know? For, it's for huge. Forever. It's enormous. Alright? And we're driving on the road, and then Roger points at us, like, hey, is that Mountain Dew? And it was so fucking funny. I was just like, Mountain yeah, Dew. all that white shit on top, that's Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just died laughing for like a good 30 minutes. Like, this guy couldn't even drive straight because he was I laughing was so hard. blinded from my laughter. Oh my it's goodness. just the way <laughs> Fucking, we just continue the joke. It, like, it was like, oh, during the seasons it changes colors. During the, during the summer it turns red. In winter it turns blue. You yeah, know? it's, it's, it's all red that. season. <laughs> the, the voltage season. It's all got all the different flavors. <laughs> You see all the clouds at the top? It's still fizzy, man! <laughs> oh my god. 
goodness. Uh, it kind of breaks my smile. Like, I don't normally talk shit about people, but when you're cooped up in a little box for a day or two with them, it's like, you know, it's like a pent up rage that just spills out inevitably. It's freaking a 13 hour drive. I guess for us it was probably about a 12 hour drive to get all the way to Seattle. Alright. How many stops did you make for this guy? We didn't stop for him. But like, he was definitely like crawling all around that car. Like it was stretching. weird. Everywhere we stopped, like, he would just come out of the car and throw himself on a pile of dirt somewhere. What do you mean a pile of dirt? He would walk two feet away from the car and then drop, no matter what it landed on. Yeah, he didn't even care. Like, it, I, the sidewalk? Ah, fuck it. It's just a sidewalk. <laughs> oh, the casing. Crow just spit a pellet, pellet on my computer. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> but, um... Fucking watching porn in the back seat. What's up with that? He was watching porn in the back seat. God, he... I didn't watch the next time on the ride back after he pulled that shit on me. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride in the front seat. And then literally <laughs> after we get, after we eat our breakfast at that diner, like, he hops in the front seat, I'm just like, no, you get your ass in the back seat. I'm not gonna sit in the front seat after everything you put us through. Like, fuck, you shouldn't even be looking at that seat. That, you don't deserve the front seat. <laughs> you deserve the middle seat. To be right. crammed between Jose and all the junk you brought. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was weird that he didn't, he didn't change or anything. Like the he way brought a he... fucking suitcase, though. We brought a whole big ass suitcase that took up ninety percent of the trunk. Didn't change one single time. Yeah, sounds like someone we know. Well, <laughs> at least the clothes I come in with are decent. <clears throat> Not fucking sweatpants, and fucking ketchup stained T-shirt from like last week. Yeah, you know what? It was the, 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 having that guy in the car was like having a little kid. Just we are we there yet? Are we there yet? Before are we, we there before yet? Before I switched spots with him, he was like kicking his seat like left and right, and then you'd tell him to stop, and you'd stop, and you start doing it again. I was watching him do it too. Like he wasn't kicking your seat, but he was putting your, his knees so like pushed up to the seat that I could literally see it bulging out on the other side. Yeah, I'm like this. I'm like driving. Like, I'm like dude. Can you stop kicking the seat? Can you stop pushing the seat, man? And I had to tell him, like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be a jerk. But, dude, you can't. You can't. Right, you need to stop. And when we, when we stopped, after that first stop, I was like, no, no, no. You're not getting on this side. You're switching so spots with Alex. I'm sorry, but, man, I can't. And then I had my nice coat, too. My, my, my suit coat yeah, drooped was, over my, my seat. Uh, he was like, it was starting to look like he was going to become a stain on this on that suit. Yeah, like, he didn't care that... It was almost like it, it didn't exist to him. He didn't see it there at all. And yeah, I was really worried. I was like, I gotta take this thing off of here because I don't know what he's gonna do, what he's gonna do to it to, to ruin it. But, oh my god. I was able, like, this guy was so damn dumb that, like, I was able to pull out the reverse Ching Chong shit I made up on him. And it, w it actually made sense. Yeah? How's that? Remember when we were on the beach, and we were, like, telling him, like, we're, we're feeding him to himself so that he can see through our eyes what we're having to deal with when he's around? And, like, like instead of, like, apologizing or feeling anything about it, he says, oh, look at this. And it oh, works. yeah. You know, like, I call the reverse Ching Chong bullshit. It's literally the craziest, like... It's literally crazy bullshit that works. Like, it'll come out anybody's mouth, but if, as long as it gets the person from point A to point B, whether that be, you know, distance or conversation or just a task at hand, reverse ching chong is just crazy bullshit. I, I, I made that shit up when I was watching The Dark Knight, you know? You know, you'll see the reverse ching chong in every fucking action movie, you know? Like, you know, 
like a superhero movie, like, you know, like it's some crazy shit you'd see in a movie, you know, but, you know, it's bullshit, you know, <laughs> it's just bullshit, it's nothing but bullshit, and once you, once you figure it out, you know, like, it's too late, that's why I call it Ching Chong, because, like, it only makes, per it only makes sense to the person that's doing it, you know, it, it's crazy. Only makes sense to the person who's doing it. Yeah. It only makes sense to the person who's doing it. <clears throat> Crazy bullshit. Oh boy. Oh baby. Then, after I made reverse Ching Chong, I made Oonga Boonga. Oonga Boonga is... I don't know what it means. But it's like... It's like, shut up, I'm talking. You know? Yeah. Shit. We didn't have anywhere to sleep, so we ended up crashing on the beach. Yeah, yeah, but I was that Actually sleep on the beach when we we show up. So when we're on the beach and all that stuff was going down. We um we woke up on the beach. We got there and it was just people having fires. Yeah, it was like all it was night like night. a it was a beach, but like it wasn't like a crazy big beach. It was like a park, no bigger than like a like a city block, like half the city block maybe. It's, it's kind of like San Francisco where, you know, it's it's lots of sand and there are signs on the beach that, you know, that obviously have a campfire and don't you know, don't make campfires. But there's no police there or anybody there enforcing that. And there's just people making fires on the beach. Nobody cares. Seattle, no. It's a lawless town. Yeah. Right as the sun was coming up, there was this, like, last couple that were out there next to a fire where we kind of where we where we were hanging out they finally got up and walked away and we they kicked a bunch of sand over the fire but it's just stayed lit we came over and we just kind of flicked the sand off gathered some more wood and threw it on and, and just kept making a fire we set up the camera we got some footage of, of the crows and was the crows were waking up a lot of them were freaking out and they saw the, this this crow hanging out with us <clears throat> yeah, let me yeah. play that for you really quick those crows were not happy like it was adorable, but it was bad. Like, like first it was like the normal flock flying overhead, but then two of them they caught they caught this thing out of the corner of their eyes, so they went down to check it out. And you know all the all the flocks all the way over there chilling in their spot, right? And then these two birds they come swooping down, checking out the scene. And, you know they're flying around in circles. They're getting really close to this bird. They even hit the bird, you know, and, and they fly back and they call all their fucking friends, you know, like mm -hmm. like. This bird's hanging out with humans. Ah! You know, so all like literally on the uh, right side of the beach, like a platoon of fucking birds just they 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 do this maneuver where they fly down to the ground so they don't get seen overhead. So like they're all just marching on the ground, you know. And then there's another platoon on the other side, and they're just trying to all get a good view at this one bird. <coughs> it's it's chilling, you know. Yeah. And like they're not gonna do anything if we're watching. But as soon as we turn our backs, that's when they swoop down. So one, the last time they swooped down, like Steve had a camera point at him, and I'm looking at him, and then Steve's just like, "No, look at my screen. They don't do anything if you're not if you're looking at them." So I'm look, so I start looking at the screen, and all the bir all the crows have to see are us staring at a phone, which is you know. Uh, they don't know what we see on the phone that we yeah. see them. All they think is, "Oh, they're not paying attention. They're looking at their stupid phone," and. Literally five seconds of me looking at the camera, the fucking bird just swoops down and tackles this bird, and knocks it off the park bench, and you know, and then Steve gets all angry. He's like, "See, that's it!" And he fucking chases him, and then the bird flies away. Yeah, but they, Morgan fought back. Morgan didn't wasn't gonna take any of it. You're a good boy. Morgan stayed tough. Okay, <clears throat> check it out.
him. Probably because you're watching. I don't know, try looking at me or looking at the screen and see what happens. I don't think they can figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! See? The question is why they want to do that. He turned, he stopped and turned around like he was going to go after my crow again a second time. But we were, at that point, we were running up. That's good. That's good. Show me how tough you are. Yeah, good. That's good. You're good. Yeah, kick his ass. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna kick my yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna do that? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Come on, give All me some right. of that. Give Trying me some wild of that. wolf here. Come here. Yeah, that's a good bird. You're good. That's good. Yeah. You need that beak for the next fool comes up at you. Now let's watch some of the footage I got. I haven't seen any of it yet, so get on to the footage we got here. We gonna go to the university soon. Hey, Jose. Nice cowboy hat. Cowboy. <laughs> here we go. All right. Is this what the guy who's on the guy's you? This it might be on here. <laughs> Oh. Kind of crazy you decided to bring your crow over here. Yeah, I mean, Yeah, you know, I think my audience really likes it, you know? It's a pretty obedient crow for not flying off. <laughs> Just likes to, you know, like to flop his wings. So, let's go see if we can talk to some people and you know, get their perspectives and try to advocate for free speech and empathy. Okay. Free speech, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah free speech. Does that crow believe in free speech? Okay, well, hopefully the crow won't freak out. Let me see some radical antifa or some leftist. Yeah. Okay, come on, crow. We're coming over here. We're going to Seattle chats. Da 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 Hey, Luma. Hey, Alex. Are you Jewish? No. Wait, what? No, I am not calling him anything. He's my friend. So, okay, so here is my dog. Here's my friend Crow Man. Yeah, here's the Crow. It's a domesticated Crow, so it doesn't really fly off like it would be. No, I ain't doing that, Mr. Wilson, man. Well, why would I want to do it, dude? I have... I, I'm Seattle Chad, dude. I'm not trying to get, uh, you know, uh, you know, work to life. Some like you know, like fried barbecue, like uh, Mr. Grass and all. So let's just go say that we're there. So we're over here. And we're coming to the park. Park is a park up in the north side. Yeah, that's exactly. We're speaking to the park. We're speaking. Let's just go talk to some people over there. Seattle, you, you walk up and down the streets in Seattle in a cowboy hat, you're gonna ask for trouble. Huh? 
<laughs> yeah, but I'm Mex I have Mexican privilege. Oh, uh, yeah. Mexican privilege. <laughs> You know, cowboy hat. Okay, yeah, it's just, it's just four guys. We're, we're like all right. different. Yeah, yeah, it's Okay, yeah, it's just it's just four guys. We're we're like all different, you know. We're like most of us are Mexican, so <laughs> Mexican food will be good. Will be good. Okay. Um, okay. Reminds me of a lot of like San Francisco actually. Doesn't it? But you guys are definitely gonna be able to looks like Portland kinda. To me it totally reminds me of San Francisco. Yeah, that's true. Is this what's... this is it? No, this is not the test, you fucking idiot. Can you not read a map? We can tell! That's why I know what's talking here. Imagine you work my office day. Sisters in Tacoma, which is like on the way there. So if you guys want to like hang out there for a bit, you can show us a little bit. So your sister from California originally? Yeah. Uh, so um, <clears throat> when we head back, I just have to we just have to figure out what we want to do and then uh, uh, there's that one. And I stopped it a couple of times. all graffiti. Hey, where's the bathroom? No idea. Happy Fourth of July, guys. Happy Fourth.
guys when I'm over there. Look, I was looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
exhausting, man. We're tired of this shit. It's just unnecessary. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Look at that cute girl. I did it. Thank you. So here we are here to celebrate the signing of the Declaration of the, of the Independence. Hello. Well, I was hoping to come up here and find the whole place on Okay, Robert. I did want What is your pro's name? Uh, Morgan. Morgan. So, here, here. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July. Domestic oh, yeah. Yeah. They've all gone home. No, not That's much fun. Question. You know, well, oh, I gotta walk up the street. Yeah. Somebody gotta go to Venezuela, right? If you stare directly at the sun, it'll wipe the smirk off your face? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Science. Uh, science. I'm out of breath. Can we just catch up with I'm the other so people? Lucky. I don't know where they went. Are they up there? They went this way. Well, then I, they went home. I got to go back down this way. I'm parked, I'm parked down this way. Okay. See, there are just a bunch of urban bohemians. We're going back or we want to keep walking around? Hey, Those people over there's locked by the cops and like people in hats and shit. Uh, yeah, you love America too, yeah, don't you? Why are you here? We are home. America is our home, so. Well, I don't know who the Amish people are, but actually, I do know who the Amish people are. Do you know what Nazi means? Nazi means the Nationalist Democratic Party of Germany. The Democrats are the Nazis. Democrats are Nazis. I'm not a Jewish Democrat. Is a race, not a political party. Jewish is a race, not a political party. Democrats. Democrats or the Nazis? Yes, sir. Thank you. Happy Fourth to you too. I have a question for you. What's your name? Uh, don't worry, Robert. Are you Robert? Are you, are you the fellow who came to the Trump in Chad so about two weeks ago? Yes. He got run out. Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't get run out. No, don't say that. It's Happy Fourth no, of July. No, I had a mob around me okay, so okay. that wanted to push me down like that me. way, and I said no. Okay. That's not how I'm going. I'm going out the same way I came in. Uh, hey, the fact that they were mobbing so me was not my choice. Nothing. And I walk out around and exactly how I came out. They didn't push me out. If they didn't steal my flag, they might have said that. They bought my flag. Yeah, I saw that. I made 20 bucks on the deal. 20 bucks. So, you know, you got a new flag. I got a brand new flag. And, this <laughs> and it looks one, like it's this, a lot bigger. This, it's a lot bigger. Twice as big, exactly. That that other one was a 3 by 5 feet. This is 6 by 9 feet. Right. Or 6 by 10 feet, I'm sorry. Wait, where did the 6 other by 10. Go? And this one is rigged. It ain't That's coming off of the pole. Okay, can we just I go where everybody else saw, went? No, I, I think they all got vehicles. How's that? Let's stay safe. You do the same. No, I'm not a big Trump fan. But that, both hey, both you know what? I, I get that. Both you're both Americans. I wasn't either. Right. You know, I was a Bernie. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter. I caucused for Bernie Sanders. I made phone calls, hundreds of phone calls for Bernie Sanders. Good for so, you. So you know, I like Bernie. I saw Bernie twice. So you know, well, what? I I'm not a Bernie. I saw him guy twice anymore. too. Well, you know, Bernie, I call Bernie, him. Bernie I call has, him. This, Bernie has yeah. some good ideas and steer the conversation. But he has no heart and he has no soul, and and he could and he was bought out. He was bought out from by Hillary with uh, with a new house right. and uh, and this time he got a new plane. 
Well, I think what you know, like Bernie finger Sanders finger ripping finger raping Joe, finger raping Joe gave him a new plane. So you know, I'm not a big, I'm not, I'm, you know what, dude, I'm not yeah. a big fan of Trump or Biden. I yeah. think we're screwed. Yeah. 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 Have a nice day. Yeah, you do the same. I'm glad we agree. Are you a big fan of Trump? Just come here and talk. No. Yeah, I think he's. No, I can't. Yeah, I'm not. What was your first thing? What was your first thing? Big wish. I'm your host, Alex. I'm your host, Joe Biden. I want ah! that thing. Like this chick, I was like, who is this chick? Following us and recording us. I think I saw her more than once, too. She was there for a minute. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Right up there, right up there. Right up Thank in front. Thank you. Right up in front there, guy. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your mother. With my mother? Well, you is that what one. you said? You have two dads in the test tube. You're an urban bohemian. Here he is. Check. Here he is. This guy. He's he's throwing out. He's throwing out the insults. You have something intelligent to say? Are you, you just Jewish? Walking around. Am I Jewish? Yeah. 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 I'm super you have Jewish. A really big nose. I'm super Jewish. Okay. He's racist. I'm not racist. What are you Jews are not about? a race. They're an ethnicity. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You're a fucking idiot. You just walk down the street saying whatever you want to anybody. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. Oh man, you should report okay, no, no, okay, 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 what I had to say. Dude. That a bit. I was like, I was like telling him. What the fuck is he talking about? He's he literally he literally said that's not that's not a race. It's in the well, only at the beginning. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Right up there. Right up there. Right up Thank in front. Thank you. Right up in front there, guy. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Did you hear that? Did you hear his tone? No, no, no. Don't hear words. Hear his tone. Like he muttered it. He muttered that shit because he's afraid of him. You're an urban bohemian. Here he I'm is. Sure. Here he is. This guy. He's he's throwing out. He's throwing out the insults. You have something intelligent to say? Are you just Jewish? Walking around. Am I Jewish? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super Jewish. Really big I'm super Jewish. Okay. He's racist. I'm not racist. What you are you Jews are not about? a race. They're an ethnicity. <laughs> this weekend, he was like, walk down the street where there's not a bunch of police or a bunch of people that will protect your ass, you know, and say that shit, you know, like, like that guy was really mad, you know, and he had a point, you know, you don't just fucking say, oh, you have a big nose. Are you Jewish? You have a really big nose. <laughs> like, that, there's no point. Like, there is no point. And that's that's why he did it because he has no point. He just wants. To, he just wanted to. He's antagonizing people. He yeah. just wants to do. There was it, nothing know? really worth no, recording no about that except to just make himself look like an idiot. Like that, that's why I don't like <laughs> people, but I like them at the same time because we are the only species capable of reason, you know. But he goes up and down the streets doing that. Why? Why? For what reason? Yeah. You know. This guy was pissed off. The only reason why he didn't fight him was because I was telling, I was literally telling that angry dude, like, dude, don't, you're just feeding him what he wants, you know, you just, keep, don't, you told don't, him that? yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't keep going, man, just let it go, man, yang yang, balance the peace, don't give him what he wants, you're just fueling the engine to, <laughs> the, to the own, to his own shit cycle, man. Right up in front there, guy, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your mother. Well, you my mother? Well, you is that what one. you said? You have two dads in the test tube. You're an urban bohemian. Here he I'm is. Sure. Here he is. This guy. He's he's throwing out. He's throwing out the insults. You have something intelligent to say? Are you, you just Jewish? Walk, walking around. Am I Jewish? Yeah. 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 I'm super you have Jewish. A really big nose. I'm super Jewish. Okay. He's racist. Myself. I'm not racist. What, what are you are Jews are not about? a race. They're an ethnicity. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You're a fucking idiot. You just walk down the street saying whatever you want to anybody. I don't want to be a part of that. Right up Thank you. Right up in front there, guy. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your mother. And my mother? Well, you is that what one. you said? You have two dads in the test tube. You. You're an urban bohemian. Here he I'm is. Sure. Here he is. This guy. He's he's throwing out. He's throwing out the insults. You have something intelligent to say? Are you just Jewish? Walking, walking around. Am I Jewish? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super yeah, I'm really Jewish. Big, no. I'm super Jewish. Okay. He's racist. I'm not. Yeah, that was me too. I was walking away. I was like, nope, I'm done too. Like after he was done ranting, I was like, you think you're mad? I had to ride next to him all the way here. Did you say that to him? <laughs> yeah, I did. And then like, and like he went back from being all pissed off to being all happy again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he, like, he, like I saw his like ear to ear smile go back up, you know? Like, <laughs> it really made his day. <laughs> hey, Robert! Oh, yeah. oh, baby. Major League Baseball returns. This is the part where I knew, like, okay, I'm out for sure. Because once once we got to that, um, once we got to, oh, his name was Robert, right? The guy with the flag, right? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, the uh, MAGA guy. Yeah, once we got there, he was talking, and then I looked over to my right, and I saw uh, Antifa looking people. They were, look, they, they were like looking at us. Uh, it's not even easy to tell who is that people anymore. It's bullshit and mess and shit. All they need is a pair of sunglasses and that's it. No, this, I told Steve, this this guy, he looked like he was like, like okay, so what I saw, what I told Steve was like, this guy had a strap on, like a, like a strap. A dildo strap? No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he had a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he def isn't definitely anti. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he had a strap, but it was attached to like a like what it looked like a bump stock because I couldn't tell from my angle whether it was a weapon or not. Mm -hmm. But it was he had a strap, and so I don't I don't know about like you know what kind of if he had a weapon or not or the laws in Washington or whatever. Right. But when I saw that, I was just like, and then I saw his dude. He was dressed in all black, and I remember he was dressed in black and red. We might actually we, we, we might we might actually see we might even identify him if you have any footage. But when I saw him and then he he actually got like about oh shit maybe like twenty feet away. He 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 looked he because he looked in our direction. I looked over and I'm guessing he identified who he because it seemed like he was on a mission also to to like identify something or somebody. Yeah. So it looked like he identified he identified Roger, okay? Because by then Roger, I I think Roger was there, and then he but then got Roger up. was acting stupid. <laughs> right. And then and then so once he approached, he he looked at Roger or whatever, and got out, he pulled out his fucking phone, and started like texting shit, you know. But those were all indicators for me. I'm just like, okay, no, fuck this shit, I'm out. That's why. That's what I told Steve. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm out. No, I, like, it got too risky at that point. Like, I'm not even one to ever back out for uh, in any circumstance, other than someone else making me look stupid. Like, I, I would have. He was if, making us. If hot that guy topic. didn't, if that guy literally wasn't the reason, we, if, if it was just you, me, and him, like I would have went out there. I would have been recording. I would have been doing the most craziest shits that I normally would do. You know, but you know, it's not worth being crazy if everyone's gonna think you're stupid. All right. Like, this guy was being stupid, and if you're going to stand next to him, then, you know, well, well, how are you going to, how are you going to make yourself look smarter than him in a, in a, in a scene like this? Everyone's already heated, you know, everyone's yeah. already pissed off at something. All, all, all you need to do is be around a sore thumb idiot, you know, big sore thumb, as stupid as him, and, you know, everyone's going to think you're as stupid as him. Yeah. I like the way you put it to him, and he's, he's like, the, like, the fifth time he said that he, Hmm. He saw, but, but I saw him start David because he doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't fucking doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, doesn't I said matter. that. I said that in front of him. I said it. it, it that's it why. That's it not. That's why he got doesn't happy. Does it matter? <laughs> like it doesn't. Fuck. Like, that guy was still there. The video where the guy was flipping him off. Mm -hmm. After that video, you know, you, you two guys walked off. And, you know, they get fucking. Ran, and he kept yelling at him, and then like he was trying to justify him, and now this guy's trying to walk away, and like. Then I'm just like, no, it doesn't fucking matter, you know? It doesn't matter how big your nose is, it doesn't matter how dark your skin is. Your tiny little hat on your head. I don't care fuck how tiny his hat is, man. You need to get this imprinted into your thick 
fucking skull, Roger. I remember you said that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's thick All fucking skull. All the left is going to see is fucking Addy, Addy fucking Helter from India. If I say it, they'll ding me on the video if I say his name. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even Dana laughed. But at least, at least you tried though, right? You actually tried to like to calm the other guy down, right? Yeah, I did. I successfully did that. But I wasn't about to do that left and right, you know? I did that one time. That was the one time Following thing. this guy around putting out fires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, what do I look like? A firefighter? <laughs> Alright, props dude. Props dude. Fuck yeah. I mean, like, I got enough energy to diffuse situations, but I don't got enough, you know, enough tolerance to be someone else's shit scooper, you know? <laughs> that was... Yeah. He was too much. Was yeah, way was too much. much. I scooped my own shit, but yeah, and I, then I, I, I used it as a weapon. Don't keep the fuel to the zone, you know, like this. Yeah. I bet something else is about to happen again. <laughs> I think that, that all the people who want to burn flags and, and, just, and take craps in public, I think they should all be arrested. I, think I mean, nobody's taking right. a fucking shit in public no. but these dogs. What, what? The Fortunately, you pick up after them, and that's a, you're a good you're a good citizen. Um, but uh, but that's not that's not always true here. I, I was here three weeks ago. And I my live flag got here. I live right yeah. here. Well, I live in and West Seattle. And you so I'm are making away. the people in this neighborhood who live here feel uncomfortable. No. no. Yes, you because are. I live here. I'm telling sidewalk. you that you make me uncomfortable. This sidewalk right here, this sidewalk belongs to me. Yes, you are. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No. Right You're uncomfortable. No. This, I I, think, that's when the camera died. What is the definition of discomfort? Feeling, just having emotion, or... Or being in a state of discomfort where, you know, you know, your emotions are outweighed by your actual feelings, you know? Yeah, and could we use that excuse when they come to one of our events, one of our rallies, and be like, yeah, you're here to disrupt people, and you're making us feel uncomfortable. I want to so make leave. an event where we intentionally do that. Let's make our own rally, the discomfort rally. <laughs> discomfort rally. The... <laughs> I don't even know how much shit I can. We'll have a bunch of people running around in in full body outfits that look like they're naked, but it's just an ink design. We'll just like <laughs> and like feel uncomfortable. Let's just <laughs> gather the KKK just so we can have the anti people chasing Dude, down. We'll have full body outfits that look like KKK outfits, but it's just an ink design. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a T-shirt of the robes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all of it is just a design. None of it's real. Fake design nudity, fake design Klu Klux Klanners, fake design Nazis, fake design... Oh <laughs> Just do it all. <laughs> sounds like sounds like a plan for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're just t-shirts, bro. They're just t-shirts. They're just handing them out. Hey, you don't, you don't want the clan... How about tits? You want fake tits? This has got tits on it. <laughs> <laughs> memes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we got some beach footage. Like, 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 bro, you didn't even come here with money. 
Okay? Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to shame you or anything, okay? I'm but, like, whatever. Well, it kind of feels like you are. No, no, But hold on. When you're being so you. fucking demanding, and you just say, well, if I'm here in Seattle, I want to go look at this and this and this and that. But, <laughs> bro, like, like, dude, come on, dude. You want your eight dollars back? <laughs> this one in the car. this part. 